Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today's video is a collaboration challenge that I've been doing all year and the host is Pirate Pretties. So for this month, the challenge that she's given us is to use burgundy wine color, which I have to say has been a challenge for me. I don't work with reds too often, but I found these glass beads that I think are going to be perfect and they're a burgundy wine color. And then she has us using bronze or brass. Well, there's a bronzy brass little glitter in the middle there. So that works perfect. And I'm going to use some um, antique brass wire. She wants us to make either a necklace or a pair of earrings. Well, obviously, you probably figured out we're going to be making earrings since I have two of these. And then she wants us to use something to do with fall, like leaves or um, owls. Well, I have these leaves that I'm going to use. And they're kind of a, I can't tell if they're copper or bronze. I look at them and I say, oh, they're definitely copper. And then I look them in a different light. They're definitely bronze. <laughs> but they're going to go nicely with these burgundy wine beads and this antique bronze wire. I also need a couple of head pins and I made sure that my leaf bead is not going to fall off. A lot of times the holes in these beads are kind of big and so we're going to be fine here. And of course I need my, my cutters, my flat nose pliers, possibly my round nose pliers. I always keep those handy. So the first thing I'm going to do, let me just move all this stuff aside, is I'm going to wire my burgundy beads. I'm going to put a loop on each side here. And I'm going to do a messy wrap. And once I run out of my wire, I can uh, clip what I need off and then tuck the excess so it's not going to scratch the person wearing the earrings. Feel around to make sure it's fine. And if you need to adjust the loop, you can do that. Slide your bead down. And then we're going to make a, another loop on the other side. And I kind of want to get about the same amount of wire as I have on the other side there, just so they're somewhat even. They don't have to be perfect. Clip it off and tuck it in. And adjust the loop if need be, which for me, I always need to do that. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to hang this leaf separately. And I could have done it all on one wire. But I, let me just show you something here. If I was to put this on and then this on, you don't get much of a movement. And I want this leaf to move. So basically, put the leaf on there in the direction I want it. I want it pointing down. And then I'm just going to make a basic loop here. Saving my wire. That's a big piece of wire I could use some other time. And then I make my loop. I'm going to open my loop, hang it on to my loop there and close the loop back. Okay, I'm sorry I couldn't show you how I did that, but I could not see 
and I had to bring it way close up to my eyeballs. I don't know what's going on, but my eyes are just really getting bad. But anyway, let me show you something here. Let me go ahead and put this on the ear wire. Close it up and see how this dangles versus that. There's a big difference on, on the way they look. This kind of looks silly too. This though has a really nice movement to it. So that's why you put it on separate wires. So I'm going to go ahead and loop this with this wire and make this to go on the bottom here. And there we go. They are all done. I love the movement on those. So that's my creation for this month, November 2021, for the Pirate Pretties Collaboration Challenge. Hope you go check all the other participants out. I'll leave links to all of their videos down in the description box below. And I would appreciate a thumbs up. Mostly, though, I hope y'all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.